Hello, Exiles. I swear, this is my final video for this build. This is a body swap of Sacrifice Chieftain build. This build had so many iterations, from a meme idea and league starting with it. I really thought this build was going to be just a meme. Then became a DPS monster where I got my Void Stones and started farming juiced maps. And finally, to an immortal mapping powerhouse for tier 16, 8 mod, fully juiced maps using Wandering Path. This version helped me get my very first level 100 character after years of playing Path of Exile. The build also has a quote-unquote 8 divine budget version that can farm fully juiced maps. Probably not 8 divines anymore since prices soared. Now I want to showcase to you what has changed since I got my mage blood. From a league starter build to this. I'll show you two versions of the build, a magic find version and a version where I said, screw it, let's keep upgrading stuff. Here is the equipment for the magic find version. I changed my cane to have double damage while focused. Same magic find helm. A plus, one plus two cloak of flame. Let me clear this 10k wisp abyss first. Now, for the pieces of jewelry, same Ventors and Defiance of Destiny. A plus two gold worm, mage blood of course, and new gloves with chaos resistance. A progenesis to max our chaos resistance. Silver, gold, ruby, and quicksilver flasks for our magic utility flasks. All in all, not much has changed for the equipment aside from getting more chaos resists and using a silver flask to greatly boost our cast speed. For the magic find passives, we're using Primalist to max out our resistances, plus two max fire resistance charms with AOE per endurance charge, and one plus one max fire with mana reservation efficiency. Since we overcapped our fire resistance, we can remove Soul of Steel to save five passive points. Over to the top, we remove the AOE passives and the chaos resistance small cluster. With this, we can fit in two medium clusters for minion life. We use hulking corpses and life from death to greatly boost the Spectre's life. That's it for the Magic Find version. This is more than enough to farm eight mod wandering path maps. Now for the other version. This is a crit version of the build, high DPS, but without compromising the defenses too much. I could probably push this further by going back to pragmatism, but that would be a big hit to our tankiness. The weapon I use is Annihilating Light for that juicy triple damage. For the helm, we use an Elder Shaper influenced Blizzard Crown with concentrated effect, hypothermia, more elemental damage, and spell critical strike chance. I still have to Isling this. A double curse Defiance of Destiny since I'm now using Assassin's Mark for more crit chance. Still the same Cloak of Flame where I put all my auras. I included Summon Skitter Bots for the shock effect. Synthesized Bone Rings with Elemental Damage and Curse on Hit. Crafted this to get Chaos Resistance, Minion Life, Minion Damage, Cast Speed, and of course Maximum Life. Same Rare Gloves and Mage Blood. And for our Boots, Ralakesh's Impatience to solve our Charge Generations. For the Passives, I still use the same charms as before so we can still reach the Resistance Cap. The biggest change is right here. Got counterweight for more crit multiplier and crit chance. New timeless jewel with damage per power charge, shock avoid, crit chance and multiplier, minion life, and cast speed. We're now using spiritual aid, and we got an impossible escape jewel for agnostic to allocate these nodes without going through the useless small passives. This version can't properly farm Abyss since you one-shot the Spires. For bossing, you can instantly kill non-Uber bosses. I've also killed all Ubers with this easily. I died a few times, but it's a skill issue and not a build issue. 
All in all, I'm satisfied with how this build turned out. This is my final final video for this build. Probably a map run here and there, but that's it. People are already calling me the body swap guy. A lot more new gems to try out, many meme builds to create. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more of what I come up with. It's a big help to a small channel like mine. Feel free to ask in my Discord if you have any questions regarding the build. All updated POBs are there. See you all in the next video.